Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and we are doing Medieval Mirage Mondays. So, oh, I didn't pull everything out, did I? Oh dear, just forgive me. Please, be, oh dear. I just grab my, my folders. One. Where are they all? Did I put everything in there? I don't think so. I appear to have lost some folders, guys. How is that possible? That is the question. How is that possible? Okay, well, I haven't lost the journals. The journals are here. That's just bizarre to me. Where has where have the folders gone? I wonder they're behind. Here's another one. I found them. I didn't lose them. I told a lie. There we go. I've got them. There's four folders. Okay, folders, envelopes. Okay, so let's have a look and see where we're at. I did put some ephemera in some of them, a couple of them. Okay, so. But I still have to do bits and pieces as well. So just quickly, gonna see, I need some things there. But I also want to put like some sort of ephemera, actual real ephemera. Put a tag in there. Okay, so I haven't, oh, I've got to put something in there. I could make a tag to put in there, just one of those. That one needs something there. See, they still need quite a bit in them. So I think I'll go through each one and make what they need, but we, I mean, I'll just do whatever I can fit into the video. The rest will be done off camera. I need to put a, this book belongs to there. And I know I think, I'm pretty, um, I know, I think I put things in this one as well. I just love them. I need to make something for that. That's a flip. Made that. Did I make that with you guys? I can't remember. Oh, I added a flip page. And the other part of the flip page there. So that I like doing that. I need to do that in the other ones. There's that in the belly band. I did have a session making, uh, that's when the 1600s paper. Um, making a whole lot of stuff to go into the pockets because I found I didn't have much. I think I did that with you guys. I can't remember. Let's see. That one I think I made with you guys. Actually, I could put it. I oh, quite like it that way too where you can see that. Okay, I'm excited to start the next project too because we've been working on these for a while. Like, I did the first round and then this is the second round and they, but these ones are more mixed than the first round. So you get lots of empty pockets there as well, as I thought. And then this one, I don't think I put anything in the pockets yet. Or was it this one? Because I was going to do that with you. Yeah, I put them just in the front. Okay, so I might grab... For that no, not that one. Do I want that one? Maybe this one. It's a bit plain, but that's okay. So I need to make something narrow for that. Oh no, maybe I want to put this one in that pocket. So 
excuse me. So that was one of Jaff's, I, ca I can't remember, I think it's Illuminated Flora, and that was from the Flower Fest, and I added that to it. And I really like how that looks. So, oh yes, that's better in that pocket. I don't know, I think this one might be too tall, but let's see how this one looks in this pocket. So how is everyone today? I got really right into, oh yes, that's perfect, um, just doing the video. Okay, so let's see here. I would put, see that they, they all need something in there, but I might put that one in there. And then I have a tuck here. Oh, I like that. I'll make something for those. Um, and I could, you know, I slide things in now and I made these as well. Off. I put my collage paper on there. I had forgotten about those, so I pulled them out and used them. So, um, yeah, I made a, a few journal cards and things because really totally lacking in goodies for the pockets. That one is a nice one. Okay. And I may find I have to move them. Put I'll put them in and then I might have to. I might have a window pocket for that one. I'm going to put this. Very pretty. I like the colours. I'll put that in there temporarily, but I could change my mind. It's really amazing. I, I always say it, isn't it? But how how much how many things go into them? I'll make something for that. I think I'm getting there and then I'm not. I need something tall for that and something for there as well. So I'm not going to put that. Well, I'll put just put it there, but I need to remind myself. And here I only have a little thing, so I need something bigger for there. This one needs a lot. I'll do the clip on that one. Um, no, I didn't have a window pocket in this one, obviously. So that tag there can go, but I will put something wherever I put it. I'll put something behind it, I think, because it's not very tall here. I'll put it in there. Okay. So, okay, well, let's work in this one, for this one, make things for this one. So we're just going to go to the first pocket that I need to fill and hopefully... Oh, those two. Ha! Huh. That's going to be interesting. Let me see what we have in the bag of goodies. Something big. Nothing big here. I've had those and I have those. Okay, let's see. But I want something twinning there. Like not the same, but that go together. Does that make sense? Like they go together. But I don't really like those colours with those colours because it's too much, too matchy matchy. Don't mind those. Okay. That's those. Or... Another thing I could do, I'll just keep those there. I'm going to need those again. I don't think I have any big things left. Unless I put them in the other drawer. I may need these here. Okay. But then I, the next idea... Oh, wait, I have a few things here. 
I want to open my window just a minute. It's feeling a bit hot. And there's the noise for you. Let me see. Oh, that's one of those. We've already got one of those. But I could... I know I like that tag in there. I'm not going to take it out. Okay, I've only got little things in there. Oh, pretty. Oh, how about these? Oh, those are nice. I do have some more things. And there's some more tall tags. Okay, good. Right. I'm thinking I might use, not those two, they're a bit pale. I think these will stand out better. Now I can relax. I wonder what that noise is. So we had a bit of a thunderstorm today. So it's brought down the temperature a bit, but I am feeling like it's pretty nice outside, but it's still warm inside. The air is not, um, flowing through enough to, to cool the apartment down without a little bit of air conditioning every now and then. Okay, very pretty. So I'm going to grab going to put those on the floor. I have a pile of papers here and I thought I had some that I like to make tags out of or journal cards. Like this one. Okay. So maybe I can It's going to be really pretty. I like the colour of it. Yeah, I think I'll put it on there. And I'm just going to tear it off here and I'm going to back it with something and then I'm going to fold that over. So I can actually get two out of this one. I feel like I need to shout. Actually, I better start shouting because otherwise um, I think that noise is going to, outside is louder than me. them with something for writing oh I think I'd like straw paper with this as a color so what I need to do is just flip it over and I am going to fold, fold that over so just tear Just 
just going to fold it down there. Oh, I love hearing the wind. Can you hear that? It's not like it's not really a windy wind. It's just a, not a windy wind. It's a um, it's a breeze. Oh, I think that's so pretty. I just love the colours. I don't think it needs anything else. So that's one. And then I need to make another one here. They won't be exactly the same size because, you know, it is me we're talking about here. But they will be similar but different. gluing on these things for days so that one's going to go in the rubbish Okay. So they are going to slide in these pockets, hopefully. And I will do something similar. I think each of, oh yeah, I really like that. Each of the journals have one of those, I think. So I'll choose for each one and do that. Now here, I've left that for a flip. So I just wanted to see somewhere. Oh, yes, I do. I have some printed out pages left over. I think I might like to use them up rather than just hang on to them. The other thing, oh, the other nice thing, fun thing, not that one. Another fun thing to do, which we might do now, and I think this one will go really well, is... To, I'm just going to fold this. Hopefully, it printed straight. I'm going to get my trimmer. Although that doesn't really matter, does it? Because I'm oh, well. Yes, yeah, so I have to trim it off. I'm going to trim off. I wanted to fold it back on itself. Yep, yeah, I'm going to trim this amount off. Steffi just came in, so I just went in to say hello. Okay, so I've trimmed that. I'm going to... So I'm going to glue this on that um, fold over there. And it's going to be a flip out that you can write on. So quite often I, I could even leave that open, but I'm not going to in this case. It's just a writing spot, not a pocket. I don't want to add any more pockets because I have enough pockets to fill. So that's a nice idea and I'll go ahead and do these think these ideas in the other one as well in the other two journals okay oh I know I don't Oh, I should do this one first. Excuse me. That's where it's going to glue underneath the fold out.
there and did it go crooked? Oh, I don't know why it's not straight. Oh, I don't know why it, I didn't get it straight. Anyway, so I'm going to trim here. And I'm going to put an Amity Bloom washi tape down here. Like so, I think that colouring is gorgeous. I could have actually glued down, you know, that border that I trimmed off too. That could have been good. But I actually really like this. And then I'm going to flip it over. I may put the border, put it in the rubbish here. I'm going to cut that and glue that there. And I'll probably come back and, well, maybe I'll do it now or I'll forget. I'm just going to trim that bit off. I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, and we have a flip out that can be written on. So extra journaling space. I uh, don't think I want any more there. I may come in and, you know what else I have I put aside where... A lot of these little um, old pages. Let me see if I have something like that. I'll put it behind actually. Just a piece of rag paper. Oh, dear, it's feeling really hot. Okay, something tall I would like behind there. Another way to get tall things is if you go in, if you don't have any more sort of um, journal cards, that's going to be a good one to do um, on one of the flips. Um, if you don't have any more journal cards printed out, like maybe use them all, you can make something out of, you know, the, the extra pages that we have. Here's one that hasn't, that haven't been used. So one thing I could do, let's see. journal over there okay might leave that I don't actually want it that big let's see how oh no it can be that wide Yes, that's going to be fine. So then I'm going to back it with just some writable sort of paper, I hope. Mm, that's a nice paper. I will back it with that. Oh, excuse me. I only want the tiniest edge. I don't want it to grow too much because otherwise it won't fit in my pocket. Okay. Let's make sure. 
sure my glue goes right to the edge. And now I'm going to trim that. Okay. And then I think I would like to put maybe, let me find where they are. I don't want to cover that up because I really like it, but I could put one lower down. I think some of these were Steffi's trial ones. Not blue. I still haven't stitched this together. It probably stay like that. Let's see how long it stays like that for. It probably stayed like that for a year or so before I decide to do anything with it. I mean, literally, it would take me, you know, 10, 15 minutes to finish it. Okay. I think I might put that there and wrap it around. Okay. Okay, good. And what about for there? Just grabbing some ephemera. And I'm just, oh, it's a bit plain compared to the pretty page, isn't it? I could. Oh. Now that could be pretty, and then it's a journaling spot. One of those. Let's see what else we have, because we've used that kind of colour. That one. I'm keeping those for the other journals. Put them over there. like those colors more I think because of the colors over here so I think I'm going to put that on there Paper clip that there.
Okay. I were to put that there and Oh yes, I like that. Okay, so let's do this bit first. I know I snipped those corners, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to actually let that dry and then I'm going to punch it so I'll glue it on here now and then when it's dry I will come back and do a decorative punch my glue is sprouting I've just had to clear that off because it was interfering with what I could see some more glue behind here and again to hold it I'm going to put some washi tape So we'll let that dry and then I'm going to punch that. Sometimes I just decide to take those off. I don't need to have a million flips. Here we've got another flip, so we'll do something there. I don't know. Oh, I can't do that. No. Okay, I'm going to take that off. I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I didn't want to lose that bit because that's like one of my favourite bits of the paper.
just a nice way to add extra writing space. What I'm going to do is take this and glue that there. Add a little bit of color with this. Oh, I really like that. I'm going to add that. Okay, because that's been flying around on my table for at least a week. Okay, I really do like that. Next, oh, we need something for in there. Well, I think in there I'm going to put a beautiful old grungy piece of paper. Oh, look, that's got writing. So what I would do with this, if you wanted to, you could attach a nice piece of tea dyed paper on the reverse side and, and then just keep it as an integral piece of paper however that's only a small pocket so let me just see oh I could slip it in there maybe I think I'll do that because I don't want to you know really really fold it down too much and then let me see I wanted to put it in this pocket I, oh no I was putting that in that pocket wasn't I this pocket doesn't have anything so let's put it in here Now it is a bit tall, so I could just go like this. Oh, and then when I see it like that, then I want to put things in it. Anyway, I'm going to put that in there and I'll make a little something to go in front of it, but I love that. Okay, let's go back here. We need something for there. like one this lady here like I may I'm going to put a little bit of book page behind do I want that no not that color piece of this oh piece of rag paper behind yes glue oozing out so that way we know that it's fully glued down and quite hard to tear now I 
could even keep that. Let's see. Hold that over. Oh, isn't that cute? That's what I'm going to do. Love that. And then here, I'm just going to put two pieces of straw paper. going to go there so we've got a nice writing spot and that oops there's a chunky bit there and that's just going to crease and go there I love that now oh I could put something on the back I think I'll leave it you could tie it if you want to but I'm just going to slide that in there and that is what's going in that pocket this is going in here. So I'm just going to make a little journal card, just a quick one, to go in the pocket. See what happens like there's still always quite a lot to do when you think you're almost done. that down so it's straightish. corners okay that's going in there and then we need a tag or something to go in there and I think I might just put one of these in I can't think if I have already had this one in this gen I don't think I do so I need to back that with something oh we've got some of Jaff's papers here that are writable so I think I'll just use one of those very pretty
So my brother has arrived safely back home and he, he's already at work, the poor thing. They, I mean, we were exhausted and they did extra trip to us. Um, and he had to go to work today, so that would have been tough. But um, he, he was messaging me last night because they arrived yesterday and he was saying, start saving for 2025. I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're in. So I've got two years to save up for the next one. It's more fun doing those sorts of trips, I think, with people. I don't know. You have to get along with the people, of course. But um, we really enjoyed having, you know, company. And I think I mentioned that my, my sister-in-law was the most amazing organiser. And so I literally just sat back and followed and just... Um, occasionally I said oh I'd like to do this and I would do it but um, mostly I could sit back and just enjoy the trip without having to think about anything right so oh gosh still got a lot to do so you get the idea I think I'm gonna stop now because I've been really tired I think it's the weather um, but the talking and the and the doing is tiring so um, you can see I've got quite a few hours of work still to do on these journals feeling like I'd like to have oh look at that okay I'm going to do that in that one why don't I do that let's just go through I'll do that tag for in there and I need a journal card here what would I like to use there um, yeah so you get the idea of what I'm doing I might make a journal card out of that I just feel like it goes with it and we've got a clip there I need to make something here I don't know a clip there it's in there that's okay I need to put something taller in there that will make me happy okay yep I'm gonna do the rest off camera it's getting fat um, but it's not bulging yet so, um, yeah, just to give you an idea of how I go about filling the pockets, I think I'll do the rest off camera. And um, I hope you enjoyed this series. Next Monday, I'm going to start working on some new journals for Medieval Mirage. I'm going to ask Ja for some new kits and see what she, what she has there in her store and get those. And, um, and yes, I think that's what's going to happen next week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some fun ideas in this series and we'll be going through and doing another one. I'm sure something, some of the same things will come up and some of the, some new things because I've already forgotten everything, but they are so much fun. I just love them. So thank you so much for everyone for watching and thank you so much, Ja, for um, allowing me to play with your kits and for creating such beautiful kits for everybody to use. Um, and Amity for your washi tapes, honestly. Um, yes, so thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you again soon. Bye.